Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we're going to be having a ton of fun and sort of playing like a game that you guys can actually play along with during the video because we're going to be going over a bunch of things that you probably do not know about Fortnite. So we're going to be testing just how much you actually know about the game and going through secrets, easter eggs, secret areas on the map like hiding spots and stuff like that. Just a bunch of things that I think most of you probably don't know and with that being said you can test just how much Fortnite knowledge you have by going with this little ranking system I made right here. So it's got like legendary, epic, rare, stuff like that. So we'll be going through all of these and keep track of how many you know. And then at the end of the video, leave a comment down below with which rank you got. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button down below. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. And on top of that, leave a comment down below on which one you prefer. Do you prefer the silent scar or the regular scar? I've been thinking about this myself and I won't quite say, but I'm curious to see like what the majority he thinks is the best so yeah without further ado let's jump on into it here with the first secret and this one let's actually jump into game for it but yeah we definitely do need to go into game for this one because it is such a random little thing that can actually be like a sort of tip if you happen to go to this area it's a great source of materials that you might not know and the area that i'm talking about here is actually the beautiful flush factory itself and also i want to give credit to user dan tress on reddit he's the first person that i saw mention this and I have no idea how he found it. But yeah, let's glide on down there. And no, guys, it's not the giant toilet. As much as I wish this was a good source of materials, you break it and you get five. Five out of that giant toilet. That is disappointing. But no, you want to go into this building right here. It's sort of the front portion next to the semi-truck. And if you go in here, there's some uh, interesting stuff. There's these futuristic toilets, which don't give you that much. But instead, you want to go over to these picture frames on the wall, which are actually... Uh, toilet seats huh but yeah you got the fancy looking guy you got i believe his wife maybe and then some kids over here when this guy's got an interesting hat but no when you break these look at how many materials they actually give you 35 brick for a tiny picture frame on the wall and like let's check out what some of these other ones do 35 i think is on the high end or that one did 34 and then this one will do 28 so that was a low one and then this final one over here we'll finish it off with 36 and granted guys we are in 50 v 50 so the materials are a little bit higher but still that's insane considering that all of this other stuff i mean even this filing cabinet gives you six this desk gives you eight granted but that's wood and like some of the other sources of bricks like this uh toilet right here only gives you six and maybe like five like that one right there so it's just such a random source of material it's almost like on par with the pallet which give you so much more than like any other object in the world so i don't know i just thought that was such a funny random thing and also there is this picture frame right here but for some reason that is a uh, part of the wall oddly enough but yeah if you're ever in flush factory that might be a interesting way to get some mats if for whatever reason you decide to drop over here but moving on here to another secret this one is specifically an easter egg and we're probably gonna have to go over more of these in a separate video but within the battle royale mode there's actually a ton of references to the save the world mode and that's to be expected obviously they're made in the same game there's a bunch of things that are connecting the two but maybe that could be part of the story of battle royale we don't really know for sure yet but that's not what we're going to go over in this video we need to go over some easter eggs so let's go over some save the world easter eggs in battle royale like for example guys this first one which has to do with the semi trucks in the game which you can find all over the map generally in more industrial areas like this one right here but if you take a look at some of the mud flaps on them the little rubber pieces behind the wheels you can see that they have the zombies or as they're called husks from the save the world mode oh and also thanks to crimson legend on reddit he's the person that i saw post a few of these but it's pretty clear here as you can see it has the face of the zombies on the mud flaps and then they look exactly like the ones from the save the world mode which is definitely super interesting on top of that there's other references in the game to save the world like for example power Cord just came back into the shop a little bit ago a week or so ago and if you didn't know her back bling the guitar is technically the guitar of the character Lars in the save the world mode and I believe you can actually see it but it's also I believe painted on the side of the van and then that's also the same one that is used in the rock out emote I believe just sort of painted differently but either way it is the same guitar and yeah we know that they repurpose a ton of the stuff from save the world and bring it into battle royale but some of these ones are definitely pretty interesting and are more secret so I thought I might as well show them to you guys 
But jumping back into game here for another one, this one is a secret spot on the map because oddly enough, like the Fortnite map doesn't have a ton of secret hiding spots. It's pretty, you know, like solid if you know what I mean. But I mean, there's not like a ton of crevices to hide behind. But that's not the case actually with this new Dusty Diner. There's actually a ton of hiding spots. So I wanted to go through, show them to you guys in case you do drop at Dusty Diner. Maybe you want to hide out somewhere. You need somewhere to heal up. There's a whole squad trying to hunt you down. These are by far the best places to go so first of all if you go up here there's actually this really interesting spot right under this wooden you know platform so if you break it down then also you got to break down this one but we probably should break down that one first now that i'm thinking about it but then you can slide on in to this hole right here and you are completely hidden you can also block off up there if you want to keep it even more hidden but i mean come on guys nobody is ever going to find you down here the only tough part is actually getting out of this area i guess you could maybe edit it that actually is probably the best way to do it so edit it like that and then place it down and you can jump on out but that's not the last spot there's actually a bunch of spots like one on the other side right here and uh is it on the other side of this yeah i'm pretty sure it's under this one right here so you break down this and there's another spot just like that one over here pretty much the exact same thing so if you want to cover it up okay that was a roof but either way it's another crazy hiding spot that you can definitely take advantage of but still guys that's not the end of the secret hiding spots there's still more as you can see there's uh this area right under here that you can go into and you can also break down this wall if you wanted to replace it right there and you've got this crazy area that nobody's ever going to expect you to be in <laughs> on top of that there's also uh this right here which sometimes even has a loot it's kind of you know not the craziest one but still and then it's also actually the same for this side over here and this one's more secret because it's covered by this entire wall but if you go back here there's um some secret loot in here so it's definitely guys check out down here and then finally you can break down this wall right here and go through actually this one right over here if you want to boom boom replace that wall and you've got this area all to yourself so yeah guys a ton of very interesting hiding spots i'm sure you could use them just mess around with them for fun or if you need to heal up nobody is ever going to bother you in there moving on to another one here this one's going to be pretty quick and i think it's one that most of you probably know but we still got to include some easy ones but it's still a very funny easter egg that has to do with one of the most popular weapons in the game Game, the tactical shotgun so this one i sometimes pick it up but personally i sort of like to have the pump in an smg over the tactical shotgun sometimes it depends on what other weapons i have but it's still a very good weapon especially in the blue rarity definitely worth picking up however there is a funny little secret with it and that is actually on this little screen on the side of it so it's sort of hard to see in game that's why you have to go in theater but as you can see they are playing snake on the side of the weapon that's right they somehow in installed this game on this little you know screen on the tactical and they're uh, just playing along with it as they're in the middle of a battle royale i don't know i just thought that was a pretty funny easter egg it has been around for a little bit now but in case you didn't know about it there you go after that though we have a super interesting one that has to do with renegade raider that is right we've talked about this skin a lot i'm sure all of you know how this skin came into the game it came in the season one shop you had to unlock it then pay for it all of that stuff but that's not what we're going over there's an interesting fact that i just learned learned about and I think some of you may have connected the dots here but it's still super interesting because did you guys know that the renegade raider is technically part of the same exact set as the rust lord that's right guys that caught me completely off guard I saw a guy by the name of the mad sebster I believe post about this and it's just so weird to think about it but it makes sense the skin has like some junkyard type elements to it I believe she even has like a stop sign on her leg or something but on top of that that also means that the rust bucket back bling is part of this set as well as this glider right here but it is part of the same set which is crazy to me that's such a rare skin and like really sought after skin even ninja was using it i think in fall skirmish yesterday is connected with the rust lord which is like one of the biggest meme skins in the game so there you go guys let me know down below in the comments if you guys knew about that one but after that guys we actually have another secret spot that i thought i might as well show you in this one and this one we won't go into game for because it is fairly quick but it is with the new location tomato temple and me and my friend found this recently just by accident and i'm sure some of you guys know this one it's probably gonna be like 50 50 of you know it but yeah it is in 
the new location, Tomato Temple, which is so dope. But when you go over here, this secret area is under this gigantic staircase that you can actually break through. And when you break through it, there's this humongous area that you can just, you know, mess around with. Again, like we talked in the previous ones, this can just be useful if you need to heal up. Maybe you need to hide out somewhere for a bit, wait out the storm. Or if you're playing hide and seek in playgrounds, your friends are probably not even going to expect you to be in here. I guess the only tough part is that you do have to recover up the steps. But still, just having this giant area hidden under here is definitely really cool. Oh, and also, if you didn't happen to see my secret chests video, if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out on the channel. There is also a couple of secret chests behind these rocks that you can break, and it even has the chance to spawn too. But yeah, I never see anybody going for these chests, so I thought I might as well give you guys a little tip on those. But moving on to another one here that has to do with Dusty Diner. There's so many cool things about this area. I just had to show them off to you guys. It actually has to do with the uh, the gift shop. You know, you go all the way through there. We talked about that in a previous video. But yeah, you go all the way through the gift shop. These things are pointing you towards it. And you go down here. Lucky for us, it's open. There's also balloons. Gotta pop those. But if you go inside of here, there's some brand new shirts hanging up on here. <laughs> that are pretty interesting because they have the Dusty Diner logo on them. There's actually two different logos. This more simple one. I guess you could say that, but I actually like this one up here. The faded shirt with the Dusty Diner cup on it. It is pretty dang beautiful, but it's pretty funny that they actually did customize this shirt right here to show the stuff on the gift shop for Dusty Diner. I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny, and this place is so hard to jump out of. You've got to be kidding me. you got to jump out of like an angle. There we go. But yeah, pretty interesting thing right there. But then moving on to one last one, and we'll go through this one really quick here, and thanks to Cha99. That's where I found out about this weird thing, but it's such a random thing. If you take a look at the map when the battle bus is going over it and zoom in really closely on the battle bus itself, you can see that the satellite is on this side right here. However, guys, and this is the crazy part, on the actual battle bus, it is on the opposite side. Epic, what are you doing? I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's just one of those things that you probably never notice, but now that it's pointed out to you, you probably will not forget about it. So I'm sorry about that, guys, but I had to end the video on a funny one. So yeah, with that being said, here are the rankings. Be sure to comment down below below what rank you got and how many of these you knew, I'm really curious to see. But yeah, guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Always helps me out so much and encourages me to make more of these videos for you guys. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as going through eight clues and theories, trying to explain what exactly happened to Loot Lake, and then another fun video on the right that I'm sure you will enjoy. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.